There are so many different products that you can be selling in your drop shipping store. It's probably extremely overwhelming, and especially as a beginner, you don't really know what niche to go into. And there's so much content online right now saying sell this product, sell in this niche, and it kind of makes it even harder to figure out what you want to start with. When I started drop shipping, I was in the same boat as you, but I was given a piece of advice that really, really helped me. You cannot hop around from niche to niche, especially as a beginner when you're trying to learn the business as a whole. The logic behind this is very simple. Sticking to one niche in drop shipping is like becoming a master in a video game instead of a rookie at many. The more you dedicate to that niche, you learn how the market works as a whole, what products sell well, how people want to be advertised to within that niche. You essentially learn everything you need to know to become an expert marketer in that specific area. But first, we got to pick that niche. So today I'm uncovering the niches that I recommend selling in 2024, and I'm actually building a store on one of these myself. These are not just random picks. We're going to go over everything and why I'm actually picking these niches. And all of these specifically make billions of dollars a year and all you have to do is take a small sliver of that pie and provide a very nice income for yourself. They have crazy high demand with large customer bases that are continuing to grow. And these niches, in my opinion, are not only the most profitable, but since they have large customer bases, there are so many different directions that you can take your brand within these niches. All right, so without any more delay and a dramatic intro, let's get right into it. To find these profitable niches and validate whether they're actually worth pursuing or not, you have to do a little market research. I usually go on Google Trends and search specific keywords within that niche to see if there's a demand that's rising, remaining consistent, or if it's falling off. Google search trends is a very powerful free tool that you should be utilizing. Because of course, if people are searching for it and the demand is rising, that means that that niche is becoming more popular and more customers are moving into it. After that, I like to see how many people are running ads on Facebook and Instagram. So I just go on the Facebook ad library and just check out what kind of marketing angles that they're running with their niche, what kind of ads they're creating, whether they're image or video, and looking into ones that have been running the longest and why they're actually successful. Let's kick off this list with the first niche, which is health and wellness. This is a sector that keeps exploding. Let's think about it. Who doesn't want to feel better, look better, and feel healthier? With a global market projected to hit trillions of dollars, this niche is a goldmine for dropshippers. From supplement products to organic products, the options for products is pretty much unlimited. So looking over some of the statistics, according to McKinsey, in the United States alone, it's estimated that the wellness market has reached $480 billion and growing at a rate of 5 to 10% a year just in the US alone. And this shift isn't just a trend, it's a lifestyle change that's happening today. Now, a lot of dropshippers might argue that this market would be saturated, but here's the thing, the health and wellness niche is vast. It's all about finding that unique product with the matching unique marketing angle that resonates with a specific audience that's really going to allow you to stand out. Now, even looking on Google Trends, you can see that the term health in general worldwide in the past five years has remained consistent and has lots of spikes here and there throughout the years, but is remaining consistent around about 60 to 75 search rates. This is what I would consider an evergreen niche. It's not going away. It's only getting bigger. Even in a crowded market, there is room to stand out. Take a look at this brand for an example. I'm sure you've seen ads from them. They are just nailing it in every single facet of health and wellness. They have like prescriptions. I don't really know how that works and you might not be able to get into that, but they've got like hair regrowth, weight loss things, just vitamin C supplements. They've pretty much got everything. And looking at this website, it's not just an average drop shipping store, even though they're probably just sending these products directly to the customer. It's very branded. There's a lot of ease of access and they focus around things like quizzes to actually put you in the right direction of what kind of supplements that you might need. And then they hook you up on subscription. And so you get your vitamin C pills every month and they're totally capitalizing on this direct to consumer vitamin approach. Now, before I move on to the next niche, you're probably thinking like, okay, the niche is great, but how do I find these products? So my number one recommended software to find all winning products that makes it super, super easy is Manea. I've been using for years now. It's just so fantastic for finding winning products. It's so easy. They've got cool features like top 10 winning products of the day by platform. So if you want to sell on TikTok, you can go right in here. They do all the market research for you and they link everything for you. So it's just all right here. So if I click on this ad right here and then click see more, it'll give you a bunch of stats about it. It's got 1.8 million plays, 66,000 likes. It'll tell you the name of their shop. You can actually click on the product landing page. So all this research is done for you. You can also see ads from the same advertiser to see what other products that they're trying to sell right now and they're testing. That way you can stay ahead of the competition. And if you're looking for something specific, since you've already established your needs, maybe it's health and wellness, you can go over to the products tab right here, click on category and apply everything that makes sense to health and wellness. So it could be coffee and tea, face and body care, fitness, hair care, and then just hit apply. And it's going to pull all of these products together and advertisements that are currently running. So you can do all of your research and find what product you want to sell. I can't recommend Manea enough. I've been recommending it before I was even a sponsor of my channel, but since I am and they hook it up, if you want to try out Manea for free, I'll have a 
link down below in the description. Now let's move on to the next niche. The next niche is golf. Golf is a lifestyle with a massive following. Over 34.2 million people today in the US are swinging golf clubs. This is more than it's ever been. You've most likely gone to a golf course yourself or you know someone that likes to golf. And the way that it's taken over social media has been absolutely insane. It's bringing a lot of a younger demographic into the sport that's traditionally been known as an old man sport and boring. But we've got YouTube channels like Good Good and a ton of people posting content on TikTok that make it really fun and engaging in like a vlog style. So it's bringing a lot more eyeballs to the sport and a lot of younger people are starting to play golf. And the level of recent engagement in golf just speaks volumes about how big the sport is getting. And there's so many products within it. There's high tech gadgets, there's simulators, personalized golf apparel, and so much more. Now looking at this report here, the largest segment of 18 to 34 year old golfers with 10 million total participants is a really good thing to focus on. Because if you're new to the sport and you're younger, the hardest thing about the sport is playing the sport itself. It is a very frustrating but rewarding sport where it's very technical, so it's hard to get good at the sport. And if you like playing, you obviously want to get better. And what better way to improve than buying products that are for beginners that help you out with your swing and just your golf techniques in general. You can see on Google search trends that golf over time is very consistent and has a lot of large spikes along the way. Golf is obviously here to stay and it's growing consistently, but a sub niche within this, like I was saying earlier, is that beginners need a lot of help getting better at the sport. Now let's take a look at this brand, Golf Daddy. It's been popping up everywhere lately. So what this product is, is that it essentially helps your game and it simulates a golf course. So when you swing, it tells you like where your ball would go, your distance, all that. And it's such a small little turf thing there that you can just do it anywhere. You can do it in your living room. Their whole thing is like you can practice and play golf without even hitting a ball. And the whole point is to improve, learn your swing path, all that stuff to get better at the sport. They're doing a great job of this. They have coupled it with an app that actually tracks your ball and your flight and things like that. And this is just a fantastic brand to kind of model off of. And of course, there's a product on AliExpress that does the exact same thing, but without the app. I mean, if you're not even hitting the golf ball, you don't really know how far it would go. So I don't think that's super accurate, but they've got this exact same mat on AliExpress for $7 and it shows you your swing pass. So you know exactly what you're doing wrong and what you need to fix for much cheaper. This is only $7 as compared to the $100 golf daddy. You could even sell this product for $25, $30 and you're gonna have a healthy margin and you're gonna capture a lot of the market where they don't wanna spend $99 on this product. I've sold a little bit in this niche before and I think it's really, really easy to convince people to buy these training tools because again, everyone kind of sucks at golf, especially as a beginner. So it's nice to get these tools to help you out and improve your game. All right, so the next niche, we're gonna dive into the world of fitness. This is a niche that's been consistently pulling its weight and growing year over year, especially since COVID happened and people were starting to work out at home. To most people, fitness is either a hobby or a lifestyle. And this has allowed brands to use this appeal, whether it's people that are trying to lose weight or just maintain strength or look, physique, which has allowed it to become one of the bigger niches in the online marketplace. From high-tech workout equipment to trendy fitness apparel, there are so many different products that you can actually sell within this niche. Now, like I was saying, this niche is very diverse, but you can pair it with things like health and wellness as well. You could be selling at-home workout equipment, but also providing meal plans and healthy living and lifestyle and supplements. They kind of go hand in hand, which is super nice to cross-sell and upsell. And I think success in this niche is either targeting people that are into fitness consistently or people that have a busy lifestyle and really can't get themselves to the gym. That's why typically indoor gym products do really, really well within this niche because it saves you a little bit of learning what you need to do at the gym, people judging you, even though they don't, some people do think that, and just making an overall more comfortable situation for someone that's new to working out. So that's when you see brands emerge like this, like Bala Bands. I mean, they're literally just selling like workout bands for at home. They have like ankle weights as well, but it's really popular in like the influencer niche community. And that's why these brands started doing so, so well, because people just are more comfortable working out at home. They're watching YouTube videos online of, you know, workout classes, but they still need equipment to do this. And it's cheaper than signing up for a gym membership that they won't ever let you cancel. It's so hard to cancel gym memberships. So that's a little bit intimidating. So doing this at home on your own time and your own dollar is very enticing to people. Now you could even take it the other way as well, or the post workout, which would be like recovery products like this right here. So it's the Apex Recovery Smart Cupping Massager. You've probably seen people cupping. I mean, Michael Phelps made it really popular. But my point is there's a big niche within this recovery as well. The whole niche of fitness in general, from start to finish, there are so many different options options and ways that you can take it. You can couple it with health and wellness, supplements, nutrients, post-workout recovery, products to actually let you work out at home. It's pretty much endless in such a massive niche. Now the next niche is pretty underrated and it's honestly one that I think can make you a lot of money because it's pretty emerging and there's not too much competition right now. This is also the niche that I'm building a new brand in, which I'm gonna be documenting on YouTube as well. This niche is pickleball. Pickleball is such a fast growing sport. It's really not a craze. Like it's just trending up and up and they're converting tennis courts to pickleball courts because there's just not enough courts right now in the US. And it's really just becoming a lifestyle for people. It's like 
a unique blend of tennis and ping pong and badminton, but it's on a smaller court than tennis, but bigger than ping pong. So a lot of people can play it. It's really great for an active lifestyle and getting some cardio in, but it's not too crazy like tennis where you have to have really high skill and high cardio, which allows a lot more people to actually enter this sport and into the market because it's not as big of a commitment. I mean, let's take a look at Google Trends here, right? So pickleball worldwide, I it just speaks for itself. Ever since like 2020-ish, it's just been pretty much skyrocketing in popularity and growth. Obviously the United States and Canada are some of the biggest search interests on Google. The sport is growing fastest in the United States, but nonetheless, it is a sport that is gonna be here to stay. And we're on like the uptrend in the early wave of it right now. So it's a great niche to get into. And there's a good amount of products to sell within this niche. And I think the perception of value is pretty high. You could be selling pickleball paddles, pickleball clothing, pickleball balls, bags, accessories. There are just so many different things that you could sell with it. And there's not too much competition right now so it's a really good niche to get into but i will warn you that going into this niche because we're building this brand right now it is a lot harder to get into than some other niches because it's new so there's not really as much of a foundation as there is for a niche that's been around longer so finding the right suppliers to provide the right kind of products can be a little bit more difficult and there's definitely a larger barrier to entry compared to other niches so i just want you to be weary of that now one of the largest and by far one of the best niches to be selling in is the beauty niche i mean we're talking about a multi-billion dollar industry that touches pretty much everyone from teenagers trying on new makeup to adults trying to you know look younger and have healthier skin and products ranging from skincare serums to beauty tools the possibilities are really endless and there's so many new products coming out daily I mean I've sold in this space for like five years and it's pretty crazy to see on TikTok just every other day it's just a new beauty tool coming out with red light therapy certain facial massagers like glasses that light up red for red light therapy there are just so many new products coming out and every new product seems to be the best one all the influencers are like this is the thing that you have to do right now like no one's talking about this it's brand new it makes your skin look so great blah 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 and then they move on to the next product next week now the beauty niche is so diverse there's so many different products that you could be selling look at jill for example this is a jill starter kit with pre-shaved magic wipe it's basically like a face uh shaver i've actually sold these before not into this level but it's a face shaver for females primarily that want to get rid of like peach fuzz or whatever, but they're selling this whole kit to do so. So it's $24.99 plus free shipping. It's on a monthly plan, which is really nice for them. That way they're capturing that monthly reoccurring revenue. And you can even look at like Rode. This is like Hailey Bieber's brand. She just put her name on this essentially. And it's basically just like cleansers, prep layers, whatever, all this stuff that they're selling, right? And then you also see brands like Bleem, which is like a crystal hair eraser. They're doing a really good job with this as well. It's basically like this tool that helps you shave arm hair back hair and stuff like that so it is for men as well without having to use a razor i think you just like you know rub it around or whatever but my point here is that there's just so many of these unique products that are always coming out and they always just sound like better versions of whatever came out before like this is the same thing as a razor right but for some reason it's better maybe it soothes your skin there's no razor burn or whatever but my point is they're always improving on products that already exist and if you hop on one of these products as it comes out especially as it starts trending you can build a really solid brand and get your name recognition out there all right that is the last niche on the list of the top ones that i'm going to be looking at in 2024 and personally selling in some of them I hope that you guys liked this video and gave you a little insight as to how I look at niches, how they're trending, what kind of products and marketing angles to run with them. And if you did, of course, hit the like button. And if you need any additional help from me and my team at Ecom Remastered, where we can build custom UGC content for you, custom websites, you get access to my private supplier. We host four live coaching calls a week. And the best part is it's lifetime access. So we will work with you until you hit your goals and we'll work with you past that because it's lifetime access. If this sounds like something that would help you out, I know it would if I was a beginner, I'll have a link down below to apply. We're not accepting everyone. So you have to be super serious about e-com and you're not just going to quit after a week because it's a waste of time for me and you. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys next time.